Hello Adventure Nation, we're in Fort Myers, Florida. We look like hell. It's really hot. Who am I kidding, I look like hell. It's really hot and humid, so we're gonna go down to the beach, check out Sanibel Island. This is the Motorhome Experiment. It's gotta be in the high 80s here. The humidity's probably in the high 80s here. It's absolutely ridiculous, so we figured- High 80s, but with humidity, it feels like 100. Yeah. So we figured that because today's hot and humid and nasty and sweaty, we would take the bikes and go bike the beach. But of course, by the beach, it could be nice. So that's our hope. Let's We're do this. Hoping. sunscreen so that we don't get too toasted. I'm gonna to get toasted anyways, but. Glasses. Are you ready, lady? Yeah, sunglasses like you did, hat, so I can get burnt to a crisp. Do some biking on Sanibel Island. Come out here to Sanibel Island, and this is the Tarpon Road parking area. They actually have parking for RVs and small buses 20 to 30 feet so you can always park out here nothing over 30 feet though strictly enforced Sanibel and Captiva Islands are just up the road from Fort Myers great beaches if you're into shelling at all it's a phenomenal place to come shelling we've been here before and the beaches are just stuffed full of shells so we might check that out here in just a second after we bike into town and see what we can go find to eat. Lori and I decided that after a mile or so of biking, it was time for a healthy lunch. Ice cream. Chocolate chip. And I think that is uh, key lime pie. I'll see. I'll Got the bikes parked. We're going to head to the beach here in just a second as soon as we uh, try and do a water refill. Nobody's gonna hear a word you say because of the it's windy. windy. I know. Looks like everybody else had the same idea today. Okay, it's a little chilly at first, but it's not too bad. Oh, make sure I don't have any wallet or, yeah, camera or phone in my pocket. Woo, yeah, feels good. So this is called the Trost parking lot. So when you come over to Sanibel and Captiva Islands, just be prepared to take an extremely long time to get off the island when it comes time because it's single lane in, single lane out, and it sucks. But but it has been this has been the third time we have been here in Sanibel, and this has been the only time it has been like this. So yeah. we are assuming it's kind of like the spring break. Very end of the spring break. Busy season stuff. So there's still a lot of people around. Yeah, yeah we never experienced this before. Nope. And it's maddening.
we're about to pick up some friends to go out and have a little dinner, and I think it's a brewery we we're going to. I'm it's not. A brewery, yeah. I'm not sure, but uh, we're not sure if they're okay with being on camera yet. So we'll have to figure that out. All right, we're here at the Momentum Brew House. Our friends Amanda over there and and Tim. They brought us here, said they'd read about it online, so we're going to check it out. We can't tell you how we met Amanda, Tim, or I will be killed. As a matter of fact, I've probably said too much already, and we're probably being surveilled as we speak. We left the Momentum Brewer and we came down here to the beach. Check out how many people are here for sunset. And, <laughs> and an amazing sunset it is. Absolutely incredible. All right, now we're at Doc's Beach House. We're just down the road from uh, Fort Myers. Actually, we're in Bonita Springs, and we're on the beach. We just saw the sunset, and now we're hanging out and gonna grab some dinner out here on the beach. Pretty cool. <laughs> hey, lady, you mind if I sit with you? To a table for both of us. The four of us. All right. Good morning everybody. We're going to be leaving Koreshin State Park here heading just down the road so we thought we'd show you the site quick before we left. It's a little bit tighter than some of the state parks we've been in but still a pretty pretty nice spot. You still have your privacy and all that so that's kind of super nice. It has water and electric, dump station, it's in another place. That seems to be the trend with the state park themselves. Mm -hmm. So we were here for four nights. That makes it difficult because you need to make your uh, gray tank last as much as you can. You don't want to just put slides in, jacks up, and go to dump the, the tanks. So we have to be very conservative about it. Yep. But still a pretty decent sized spot. Yeah, look at this. I mean, and this right now it drains, so it's hard, but this is sand. So you can put your toes in the sand right here. Yep, nice sandy. Sandy picnic table and it was spot. Pretty long. Plenty of room back here, which is what we didn't and utilize. There is a grill slash far pit, so that's super nice. And the reason we are, the reason we're parked way to the front is because the hookups are in the very front. So that was like a negative. Yeah. So Correction State Park. I don't know who did your hookups, but they just are in ridiculous spots because yeah we have all of this space back here but we can't use any of it because we have to stay way up to the very very front to use the hookups the electric and the water are way too far forward in these spots so but very nice and privacy you totally have the privacy yeah you could actually because of the privacy you could actually have put your uh picnic table back in the back here had your fire pit and all that stuff rolling but then if you have a, a car with you, it just makes it very difficult. You can see that we've got the car almost on the road and, and we're almost parked with the coach on the road because the way the hookups are done. Let me show you that quick. So yeah, here's your, here's your water. So we're this close to the road. Road is here, water is here, electric is there. And most coaches, water is way at the back and your electrical is way at the back. So to get these to both hook up, we had to be really far forward. Now I know a lot of people carry 60 feet of water hose and all that. We don't yeah. do that. We probably need to, to stock up on some stuff like that. So in case this happens, we're not in that, in that rut, but that's what happened here. Still a beautiful spot, beautiful campsite and very handy to Fort Myers and Fort Myers Beach if you're gonna do that kind of thing. 
Yeah, Sanibel. It was what, like almost three miles to Sanibel. Yeah, Sanibel wasn't very, very far at all. So, very good stuff. And uh, let's roll down the road to Naples. Yep, let's go. We could really wait to use the dump station at the next park, but we usually do a dump as we're leaving the park so that you have less weight rolling down the road. We just have to do a quick loop around the campground to hit the dump station and then we're on the road, heading down to Naples. We're rolling out of Correction State Park just south of Fort Myers. And again, it was a it was a great park and the Correction history, very interesting stuff. Uh, their own personal, I think it was Cyrus Teed. So it was his own personal religion, cult, whatever you wanna say, but from what we read, it sounds like they were trying to do good with that. It's not like, you know, some of these cults where they really have got some crazy notions that are really harming people. These guys really seem to to want to do the right thing, women's rights and people working together and really that utopian society. That was my take on it. I could be totally off base. So if you read about their history and go, no, these guys were completely nuts, let me know. I'm sure they probably were, but looked pretty cool to me. And we're just rolling into Naples. It's a great area. It's, Naples is just beautiful little city. It's an affluent city too. Very affluent city, absolutely. You can see that. As you can see by the signage there, Historic District is just to our right as we're heading down here. It's a beautiful area, some restaurants and cafes and things like that, the marina. Uh, and some extremely expensive houses down there. We'll go check that out tomorrow. But for right now, we're gonna head left across the bridge and over to the state park. What's the name of the state park again? Collier? Collier Seminole. The Collier Seminole State Park. We are 17 miles, according to Mrs. Googles, to the state park. And with just five miles left to the state park, Highway 41, the Tam Miami Trail, turns into a two lane road from here to Homestead, I think with bits and pieces of four lanes thrown in, but for the most part, it's like this all the way through the Everglades. And we're arriving at Collier Seminole State Park. Let's go see what trouble we can't get into in here. Lori booked this one, so I have no clue what we're getting into here. It was the only one around. It's it was the only one around. Yeah, there is some national parks here, but They're we chose to do the state park. The yep. Oh, Hi there. We do. C H A R R O N. And that's spelled Sharon. Sharon, thank you. You got it. We never say our last name first, we spell it. Because if I say our last name is Sharon and then I, even if I spell it, they immediately start going S-H-A and it's just a mess. Yeah. So it's just easier to spell it. Sharon with S, with C. Oh, there is a giant machine there. So we might have to check that out. And we are also in the Big Cypress Swamp. So that is Collier. Seminole. And they've got some hiking and biking trails and things like that. 
Lorena wants to go out hiking into the uh, alligator area? Nope. The opposite. Into the non-alligator area. And we'll possibly check out the biking stuff here in the next day or so. That's cool too. Whatever that is. That is the blockhouse. Very interesting. A lot of, uh, all those might be handicapped spots, the paved ones at the start. Am I going left here? We are all checked in at Collier Seminole State Park. And this is where we're gonna end the video. I am not going back outside right now. It's just about sunset, and there were so many freaking mosquitoes out there that I got bit to hell just trying to get hooked up. So, no going back outside today. But we had a great couple of days in the Fort Myers area, now down near Naples, and look forward to exploring a little bit of Naples. If this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date on everything that we're doing. Cool if you like the video as well. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.